For the barefoot sandals of this video, we're gonna need a fine weight yarn of 100% cotton and a crochet hook of 2.5 mm. You're also gonna need some coffee bean shells, a sewing thread and a needle. Now let's start with the pattern. First of all, we're gonna make a slip knot and then make 37 chains. After that, we're gonna make a slip stitch at the 12th chain from hook. Chain 2 and make one half double crochet into each one of the next 24 chains. I'm gonna put this process in fast forward and I'm gonna meet you after those 24 half double crochet stitches. Now I have one more chain remaining and I'm gonna make there at this very last chain 5 half double crochet stitches 1 2 3 and 5 half double crochet now we're gonna start crocheting at the back side of the chains making 1 half double crochet into each one of the next 24 stitches I'm putting this process in fast forward and I'm gonna meet you after those 24 stitches After completing crocheting at both sides, we're gonna make a slip stitch into the same last stitch. We will continue making one slip stitch into each one of the center spaces between the two sides till the top. 
I'm not gonna put this on fast forward because I want you to see exactly where I'm inserting the hook. All you have to do when you reach the top is cut a small yarn tail and pull the yarn through the loop. You can hide the yarn tail at the back side of our project. And that's how our project looks like till now. After that, as a final touch, we're gonna make a chain cord of 21 inches. After making the chain cord, we're gonna touch those chains at the very top stitch of our project. You can make that attachment with a slip stitch and finally make one more chain cord of 21 inches. When you're done with that cord, cut a small yarn tail and pull the yarn through the loop again and you're basically done. Now the only thing that it's missing is the decoration, you can decorate it as you wish. For this specific one, I chose to sew some coffee bean cells on top. Don't forget to repeat one more time to create a pair. Thank you a lot for watching and see you at the next video tutorial.